Welcome to Class for Everyone. I am Golden and Corpus. Uh, quadratic equation is written in the form ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to zero, wherein a, b, and c are element of a real number, and a is not equal to zero. Now, this is our quadratic term, the linear term, the constant term. So, if b is equal to zero, this can still be a quadratic equation because we still have a quadratic term. If c is equal to zero, we still have a quadratic equation because we still have a quadratic term. Now, what happens if we have b is equal to zero? How can we find for the roots? We can find for the roots if still b is equal to zero, we have ax squared plus c equals zero. And suppose this is a negative. Now, to find for x, <clears throat> we divide all the terms by a. We have x squared minus c over a. And then uh, get the opposite of negative c over a, it will be positive and add it to both sides of the equation, which will make us have x squared equals c over a. Now, we're looking for the value of x, so get the square root of both sides. We now have x is equal to a positive and a negative square root of c over a. Notice that a should not be equal to zero, so this will never be a zero, and this will be accepted. Now, but what if c now is equal to zero? We will have an a x squared plus bx equals zero. We still have a quadratic equation, although incomplete. Now, to find for x, we factor x because both, of, both have factor of x. x, we have ax squared. AX plus B equals zero. Now, by zero product theorem, one or both of the factors is equal to zero because any number multiplied by zero will become zero. So suppose this is equal to zero. And the other one, if it is equal to zero, then it will be AX plus BX equals zero. We already have the value of X first. Now to find for the other value of X, we have find for the opposite of b. It will be a x equals negative b, adding the opposite of b on both sides of the equation. Now finding for x, divide both sides by a. And that will give us x is equal to negative b over a. That is our second root. Now suppose nothing is equal to zero. a, b, c is not equal to zero. So, we will now have complete quadratic equation in this form, ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero. So, therefore, if ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to zero, and I'm looking for the value of x, I will use the completing the square. I do not need this constant. I need that the numerical coefficient of the quadratic term must be equal to 1. So, so uh, I want to divide all the terms by a. So this will now be an x squared plus b over ax plus c over a equals 0. Now I need a binomial and make it as a perfect square trinomial. So I will have x squared plus b over ax and then equals negative c over a. Now, we will make this as a perfect square trinomial. To make this one, I need the constant. To find for the constant, it is b over 2. And then square it. This is our b here. But since b is equal to b over a, by substitution, this will be b over 2a. But I have to square it. 
Therefore, this constant will be a b squared over 4a squared. I have added a b squared over 4a squared on the left side. I will also add it on the right side. So positive b squared over 4a squared. Now, the left side is already a perfect square trinomial. We can now factor while making this into a single fraction. So the left side will be x plus b over 2a squared. The right side will now be, I just uh, arrange it, this will be negative and then transfer it to the right of the b squared over 4a squared. So this will be now be b squared over 4a squared minus c over a. Since I'm, I want this to be a single fraction, then the denominator will be 4a squared, making this into a single fraction for a squared. And then this minus c will now be a negative for a c. Now, since this left side is already a perfect square, we can now get the square root of the left side. Getting also the square root of the right side. The left side will give us x plus b over 2a. And then the right side will give us a positive and a negative b squared minus 4 ac all over this is already a perfect square 2a now transferring or getting the additive inverse of b over 2a is negative b over 2a so adding to both sides x now will be equal to negative b over 2a plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4 ac over 2a notice that we have a similar fraction the denominators are both 2a we can make it as a single fraction so x is now equal to negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4 ac all over 2a Remember that this a, b, c are all numerical coefficients of this quadratic equation. And that is the relationship of the coefficient of the quadratic equation to the roots. And this is the formula to find for the roots. And this formula is called the quadratic formula.